You, my name is Becker, you're watching Source TV, and today we have some serious stuff to talk about, so I'm not going to tell you fart jokes and diddle around here making fun of Miley Cyrus for 50 minutes, because we're going to be talking about silos. Yeah, woo! Sexy optimization of our websites. Anyways, so what are silos and what makes them so damn cool? Now, if you don't know what a silo is, it's probably one of the most beneficial ways to build your website, increase your rankings kind of independent of backlinks. If, for example, you kind of have like a site right now, it's kind of like doing middle ground-ish, and you go in, you build the same backlinks to it, but you put it in a silo format, or better yet, you understand how the link juice comes through it in like a symbiotic Lion King-like fashion, you're gonna see your rankings really shoot up because Google really loves how this is kind of built. Now, before I get into this, talking about silos is kind of like talking about religion at the dinner table or something, all right? Everybody has their own interpretation, their own definitions and stuff like that. And depending where you are, like the warrior forum, the conversation can be a little bit heated. So before we get into that, know that everybody has kind of their own different idea of silos. What I'm gonna be teaching you today is basically not so much siloing, but how to understand how to get the link juice flowing through your site in the most optimal way, all right, getting into like tongue twister, big words, the most optimal way to increase your ranking. So if you want one page to rank faster than other pages, you want your site to rank faster as a whole, I'm gonna be showing you how to do that today. So before any SEO experts come out and like, you did it wrong, all right, I'm just teaching link juice today and this is going to help you drastically improve your site's rankings and kind of actually have a site that Google really likes. So anyways, guys, let's go over here. There's actually nothing over here, but let's imagine there is, and let's get this lesson started. All right, see you in a sec. All right, dudes, so we are here, and you are getting into SourceWave's guide to siloing stuff. All right, if anybody asks you where you're learning all this cool info, just be like, dude, SourceWave's guide to siloing stuff. Teach you the silo stuff. Okay, so anyways, what we're gonna be talking about today, guys, is uh, siloing. If you haven't picked up on that by now, then, um, well, that's what we're talking about today. So I'm really just gonna get right into this since we have a lot to talk about, and I'm just gonna scroll down on my little chalkboard. Hopefully you appreciate the uh, links I've gone to to make it look like I'm writing on a chalkboard for you. And uh, let's just get straight into it. So what the heck is a silo? And before I get into this, uh, you know, I've talked about silos on Sourceware before. Everybody has their own definition. It just, the SEO community as a whole has a lot of very angry, angry men with very small wieners um, who will come on my blog and be like, oh my God, you missed that, it's not a proper silo. Fraud, fraud, and they, they go insane and stuff like that. So anyways, I encourage you not to do that because um, I will talk about your private parts on SourceWave. Anyways, all right, so anyways, the technical definition of a silo. And I just wanna really pull up a picture really quick. If we go to Google real quick and you type in SEO silo, there is like 18 different pictures and every single one of them is different, all right? Like every single one of them is like completely just, just all over the place crazy. Anyways, what a silo is in SEO terms, all right? Before you like go out there and everyone's like, no, a silo is this, no, a silo is this. No, definitely, no, this is a silo. Um, silos don't really have a definition. It's really an interlinking of your site. That's that's what I, you really need to take away from this, all right? If you get an argument on a forum, be like, no, it's an interlinking of a site, you silly. But um, most, like basic definition of how people have silos on their sites is um, either two ways. They'll have like pages, all right, like this is a page, this is a page, this is a page, all right, whipping out the art skills. And what will usually happen is you'll have like the home page of your site, and the home page of your site links to a top category page, category page links down, links down, um, resulting in the link juice going through the entire site in this type of fashion. Now, what a lot of times people like to do is kind of like even complicate it more, and I'm going to show you some really overcomplicated silos they're gonna get you all sorts of hot and bothered um, and uh, yeah so and they usually like to then link this page up to the top page right here this page blinks here boom boom all right now there's also tons of other type of silos out there and I'm gonna be breaking down every definition of it a lot of people also say a silo is this where you have a bunch of pages right here um, the bottom page links up to the top page and I like to call this a reverse silo because um, just because and then they will link back up to the top page. So what's going on right here is the juice is then flowing from bottom pages of the site up to the top page, and that's usually better if you want to uh, rank the top page of the site. Anyways, guys, that was super confusing and really stupid, all right? It didn't really make much sense. I'm just like, all right, the silo's like all these kind of things. What you really need to understand, guys, is you need to escape what I like to call the SEO dictionary, all right, because there's no such thing, all right? The SEO dictionary was founded by some guy um, who's probably really overweight and posts on the war forum too much, and there's really no such thing as an SEO dictionary. There's no exact 
like definition for anything in SEO. It's all just up in the air, um, being debated by guys who live in their mom's basement. So throw all the stuff out the window, and what you really need to understand what a silo is, is the interlinking of your site and forcing link juice through your site in a fashion so that um, it gets to your site better, all right? And, and it enables you to rank certain pages faster and whatnot, all right? A silo can be you linking the bottom page all the way up to the top page to the home page. It can be you linking the home page all the way down to the bottom page in a fashion like that. It's really forcing link juice through your site in a certain fashion, all right? Now, why the hell would we want to do this? Why would we want to do this to our site and whatnot? Well, they first just, they just plain rock. All right, I'm going to show you a site really quickly that has two links going to it and it's just ranking for all sorts of terms, um, blanketing Google for all sorts of terms like that. And it's just a very, very simple site, two PR links going to it. And the reason why it's ranking like this is the silo kind of procedure I'm doing on the site. Anyways, if we, if we hop over here, you can go into Google and you type in like rhinoplasty surgery, Texas, right? Now, in a few posts before, I explained why this is such a good search to rank for because I can easily rent it out to any of these people right here uh, for 200 bucks a month very, very easily. But you can see right here, this site right here ranks uh, second in Google for rhinoplasty surgeons in Texas. And the only thing going on here is silos, all right? I have siloed the entire site. Um, and I'm going to kind of break down this site. I'm not going to go too much into it because this is actually using what I like to call a Dragonite silo, which is something I pulled from the netherlands of my ass to show you. Um, but basically, that's that's just, again, me taking this the idea and understanding of silos and making my own kind of creative structure behind it. Anyways... What we got going on here, ranking for second in Google for rhinoplasty surgery, Texas. Now, it's really cool. You type in rhinoplasty, rhinoplasty plano, just that simple term, showing up first. You type in rhinoplasty surgery plano, all right, you play, it shows up first. You type in, you can actually see it shows up first and second. You type in rhinoplasty doctor plano, shows up first, all right. You can type in rhinoplasty cost plano, all right. You can type in um, rhinoplasty cost plano, Texas. You can type in... Um, let's just say like where to get rhino plasty surgery plano, all right? Shows up first and second, all right? Now, and also really quickly, I'm not logged in, and you can see up here, not logged in. History's cleared before anyone's like, oh, he's showing improper results. Um, and that's the troll voice. If you leave a troll comment, that's exactly how I hear you. And I kind of get like giddy and give my dog a high five. But you can see right here, um, this simple structure right here on this little example site, um, easily would allow me to rent, rent out these pages for at least 200 bucks a page, right? I can rent this page out right here. I can rent this page out right here. Easy peasy, lemon cheesy. Uh, that's an extra 400 bucks a month, literally doing nothing um, except siloing the site and sending two PR links to it, which we covered in a former um, article on SourceWave, right? Oh, and what's also really funny, you go and you type in nose job Plano, boom, got the site showing up right here, all right? So pretty damn easy domination of the Plano and Texas surgery kind of niche, right? And uh, I've gone into before West is a good search. I'm not going to get into it again right now. Just showing you kind of the just easy power of silos. So um, let's look at some examples of silos, guys. All right, that's the big thing. I want to show you how they work. And first off, if anyone asks you, just say, you know, Alex Becker invented silos, all right? Because everybody always accuses me of like saying I invented things on SourceWave when I didn't. Um, and I've never said I have, but but since I'm going to get blamed for it, just tell anyone you know, Alex Becker invented silos, all right? Any any form of silo out there, Becker made it, it's copyrighted, you should probably put my name in front of it. So anyways, that's what you tell all your friends when they ask, all right? This Becker guy invented silos, it's amazing. I really didn't though, so take it at whatever you want. So anyways, I wanted to show you kind of my definitions and examples of silos and how they work by using this sweet bin diagram right here. All right. All right, guys. So we scroll down here. This is kind of just an example kind of template for a site. What we got going on right here is the home page of the site and we got the pages on the site. Now I'm going to be explaining these types of silos up here. And the goal of building a silo is of course to make certain pages on your site rank faster, make the overall site rank faster as well. Um, it helps everything all above, but I'm going to be kind of showing you the goals of different types of silos so you're not out there just like building like your architecture of your site in a certain way and you don't know any reason why. So let's start off with the standard silo, all right? And this is this was created by um, Alexander Hamilton in the 1920s. Um, very, very old type of silo. And you, you can see, anyways, it's, it's really like the most basic type of silo that people use and I see most commonly used or most referred to as like the proper silo, like the proper way to organize your sites to rank in Google because anything else is just unclassy and weird. How it basically works is you go from the bottom up to the top page 
And the goal of a standard silo, a lot of times, is to rank a single search. All right. Now, disagree with me all you want. The way a standard silo works is basically your your link juice is going, and I'm, I wish I could. I'm gonna get a red line so you can kind of see the momentum of how it's going. Um, but the way your link juice is going, it goes from the bottom page up to the top page. And this is done by interlinking the pages together with the anchor text you want them to rank. So if this one right here, all these pages right here are about kid and men's, and this page is best kid and men's, and this page right here is um, uh, nuclear kid and men's, you'd link from this page to this page with the anchor text nuclear kid and men's, you'd link for this page um, to this page for the with the anchor text kid and men's. All right, very simple. And it goes all up to the top of the site, which we would say is about I don't know, kid and socks, all right? If you're selling kid and socks, let me in. It's a hot market right now. But um, basically, it goes up to the top page of the site. And we do the same thing with every single page right here. So all the link juice ends up going up to the top of the site. Now, what you can do if you want to get really complicated is the top page then links to the bottom pages of the site. I'm going to make this loop around right here. And it, what happens is you can see no matter where you link to on the site, the link juice gets sent throughout the whole entire site. So if we link to this page, it goes do 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 All right, and um, ends up going throughout the whole entire site. And that's what is called, I like to call kind of a closed silo, uh, where the focus is kind of more ranking the overall site. However, if we were to get rid of these three loop arounds right here, the main, all the juice in the site, no matter what page we rank to, say we're ranking this page right here, ends up going back to the home page. So we can successfully kind of rank this page while helping our home page at the same time. Now this isn't the best strategy because you want to have a lot of links going to the home page that are based around brand and stuff like that. If you're really confused and want that kind of explained, I suggest you jump into Source Infinitum below. You can check it out for free right now. I trained the shit out of you. It's pretty damn neat. You should check it out. And I will just leave it at that. But that basically right there is a standard silo, all right? When the silo juice goes up from the bottom pages up to the top page, you can make it a closed silo by looping it around, all right? So that's kind of the gist of the standard silo, all right? So next thing I want to talk about really quickly, all right? Uh, the reverse silo or skylos. This is something I made up. Um, it, you know, I'm not the first person to link my sites in a reverse silo fashion in the history of SEO. So don't be like Becker just said this and he's lying to me. But it is a very handy technique that I started using a lot when I created the action plan strategy, which is kind of shown off in Infinitum. However, it's basically a way uh, that we can rank our top pages for competitive keywords while ranking our bottom keyword pages for kind of slightly uncompetitive keywords. And the way it works is we got the home page right here. All right, let's just say this is again about kid and socks. I'm gonna put an S right here. All right, so what happens is we link to three top category pages. All right, so bang, bang, boom. All right, so what we wanna do is we wanna make these our most competitive keywords. All right, why? Because they're gonna be getting the most juice. So we will make the, the home page about a really competitive keyword, maybe like just kid and socks. All right, this one will be kid and men's, this one will be kid and gloves, and this one will be like, I don't know, kid and guns, all right? Because kittens have to defend themselves too when they're declawed. So what's going to be going on here, guys, is we got our most competitive keywords right here, and then we have our most, most competitive keyword on the home page. So what we got going on right here is it links down to our least competitive keywords, all right? So that way, all right, look, well, I'll make this make sense in a second. We got, all right, kid and men's right here, all right? And then we'll have like best kid and men's right here and then kid and men reviews, all right? So what's happening right here, guys, we send juice to this page right here, all right? We get the most juice going to our most competitive keyword and then the juice flows down, goes to the page that needs kind of a little bit less juice, but this page still gets juice. So we're able to rank this uncompetitive keyword at the same time. Then it goes down to this bottom page right here, all right, which is our super uncompetitive keyword. We're able to rank that at the same time. If you take the kind of dream niche type strategy, um, by the way, you can get access to our course, our keyword research course, dream niche is below, but it's just by hitting the like button. It's a really, really good course. It will fill in a lot of blanks and it's completely free after you like us. And this will basically allow you to rank what I like to call dream niche style keywords very, very quickly while also ranking your competitive keywords. And that's kind of the cool bananas of that. Now you can also really close off the silo in a few ways by linking back to this page right here. Follows the same exact fashion all the way down. Links to this page right here. Follows the same exact fashion all the way down. Goes right here and follows back around. So you can close off the silo that way. The big thing to look at, guys, though, is the fact that it's just juice going through the site. Pretty damn simple. All right. So 
The next thing I want to talk about finally is what I like to call the looper silo. And actually the looper silo really, really simply is this. All right, it, everything loops around back through the whole entire site and it's just controlling the juice going through your site. So that's kind of what a looper silo looks like, right? Um, another thing, a really, really simple silo, like what an example of a looper silo would be if we didn't have these all nine other pages. Um, link just goes from the top of the site down, final page links back up to the top of the silo, creating a closed circuit where the juice gets trapped within your site. That's a very, very simple silo right there. Big thing to take away is not the fact that, oh, it's a looper silo, it's, that's the exact definition, I must follow this exactly. The thing to take away is if you shoot shit to this page, the shit goes to this page if you link to that page, all right? Shit flows through your site, like plumbing, all right? So keep that in mind, all right? Mental images of throwing poo at my site now. Anyways, final thing, guys, um, Dragonite silo. I'm not really going to get into this too much. Anyways, I'm not going to get too much in this right here. It took like two hours to explain Infinitum, and this is kind of like an Infinitum member training, but I want to kind of show you how to creatively use juice in a way that is different than what other people are doing. All right, so anyways, how Dragonite Silo works, and if you played Pokemon, you know what that is. If you haven't, um, I don't... Okay, you haven't played Pokemon. But basically, the way this mythical dragon-like silo works is we're focused around ranking this one page, all right? This dragon page right here. So every silo on the site is based around ranking this page, um, and it's also based around ranking the, the pages on those those pages as well, um, efficiently, but while overall focusing on ranking this page. And so how it works right here is I'll have my super competitive dragon silo right here. And what we'll do with this is I will have a standard silo right here going up here. So any links I build to these more competitive keywords right here, because this is where a lot of my juice is going to be going, it's going to go up to my top page right here. Um, on top of that, top page links to this page, links to this page, links to this page. Now what I have going on down here, guys, is my uncompetitive silos, all right? Um, I can rank these very, very easily with peer links. They don't need to have other pages on the site really linking to them or have a silo focused around them. Now the way it works, guys, is this page goes here and this page goes here, links here. Again, I'm gonna have to draw a line right here. This page goes right here. This page goes right here, all right? And they go downwards, all right? So um, as confusing as this look, guys, uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but the way it works, guys, is Basically, anywhere I send juice on the site, it always ends up back to the the dragon page. All right. For example, if I send juice to the home page, right, it goes right here, boom, right here. But if it also goes, um, it goes down to this page right here, then shot over this page. It goes down to this page right here, shot over this page. If I send link juice right here, ends up shot back at the dragon page. If I send link juice right here, goes down, ends up shot back at the dragon page. Everything ends up back to this page. So I'm gonna make my most competitive keyword here. Um, extremely competitive and that's gonna give me a very good chance of ranking for it. I actually was able to rank for a really competitive medical term like bring a site to a thousand bucks a month um, just for funsies using this. It's very very easy to do especially very very powerful when you have PR links going to your site and then you also have a very very wide variety of quality kind of mass built links and you just have all this juice all going to this page. But what you need to take away from this big bloody mess of um, stuff is the fact of how I've reworked it in a common sense fashion using my understanding instead of my SEO definition handbook to rework and send juice to a single page on my site and I encourage you to take that idea away. So what I want to show you really quickly guys is how to do this um, live right in front of you just very very quick simple demonstration. Right? I want to show you a few different silos real quick. Now we can jump over to the rhinoplasty surgery site. I've created a few different silos right here. All right? The first thing I want to show you is the rhinoplasty surgery plano silo. This is built in a, re, uh, a skylos type fashion where it's going downwards. Right. So if you click on rhinoplasty surgery plano uh, you can go down and you can see boom goes right here links to this page right here links to this page right here. All right? You can see very 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 simply um, it, it links to this all this stuff right here. Now you can see it just went in a reverse fashion. If I can break that down really quickly in front of you, here's the top page of the rhinoplasty site and or the, the rhinoplasty surgery plano went all the way down. All right, so I can I easily rank all these other pages as well. And if you go Google those other pages, they're going to be showing up in like the second and third page, even though I have no links going to them and stuff like that. Now what we also go have going on right here, um, I want to also start ranking for Dallas rhinoplasty. All right. This is just pure case study, guys. Now, if you can see right here, I have what is called the standard kind of silo, all right? So the bottom page of it is nose job, uh, cost Dallas, goes up to rhinoplasty surgery, Fort Worth Dallas, goes then up to rhinoplasty surgery cost, or Dallas rhinoplasty surgery. And uh, one thing I did right there, I threw in an extra word in there just so I can kind of blanket a few extra words very easily. I don't want it to be over-optimized. This is kind of what the dragon page is right there. 
Anyways, that's kind of what a silo looks like. That's how it's going to perform right there. That's kind of a loose Dragonite style. I do encourage you, if you like this training, check out Infinitum below. It's 100% free for the first three days, and you can see if you like it. If you do, you can stay on. If you don't, um, I'll never talk to you again. But anyways, guys, that's basically how silos work. That is your training slash, I don't know, inappropriate talk of the day from Alex Becker, and um, hopefully you enjoyed it. So anyways, guys, uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thanks for checking out SourceWave. Be sure to go below, hit like, and you get this amazing training we used to charge for. Got like awards and all sorts of stuff. It's really freaking neat. Uh, probably the best keyword training you're going to get, and I'm not even saying that like biasly. It's just awesome. And then be sure to hop on for updates below. Uh, enter your email below. We don't spam your email with crap. We just give you updates and really cool info. Um, and insider access to stuff you can only get in the opt-in list just because we don't want to share it live on the blog. So be sure to do all those things. Sign up for Infinite for free, hit the like button, opt-in, your life's going to be much better, and um, you'll even get pictures of my dog sent through email, so it's going to be pretty sweet. Anyways, guys, this is Alex Becker, Source TV. On behalf of my partner, Alex Cass, and myself, I hope you have a spiffy day. All right, so... Take it easy, guys.